Hey guys, this is Catfish here again, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will use science and math to find out what is the best grip in PUBG Mobile. My method is way more accurate than any other method done by any other YouTube channel because my method doesn't rely on spraying a wall five times and then eyeballing five lines to determine what is the best grip, which can lead to different interpretations. Instead, my method uses math to objectively calculate the actual recoil of each grip so there is no bias, only numbers and truth. For this experiment, I will use two weapons and then compare the recoils of both weapons using all five grips. The first weapon is the M416, a PUBG favorite and one of the most accurate and versatile weapons in the game. The second weapon is the M762, a terrifying close range weapon known for its hard to control recoil. Hopefully, by using two drastically different weapons, we can see if all grips affect all guns the same way. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to equip only a quick draw magazine and a compensator on your M762, whereas on your M416, you also need to attach the tactical stock. The reason I use all attachments is because I'm trying to measure the best possible recoil that these two weapons can achieve. I use the quick draw magazine because PUBG Mobile Training Room has a tendency to make your bullet holes disappear after the 30th shot which makes screenshotting and data collection impossible. We stand at exactly 5 meters away and make sure that the red dot sight is used for all tests to standardize the results. And then we spray away, one spray per grip for a total of just 10 sprays for the two guns. We take pictures of each spray and just under 2 minutes, we are already done with all the data collection, which I remind you is much, much faster than any other recoil analysis done by any other YouTube channels in the past. We then import the pictures into our computers and then pixel analyze each picture, jotting down the exact coordinates of each bullet hole. This here, ooh, that's a very straight line. Zoom into 800. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Where, where's the line? Here it is. Okay, size, the smallest colors, red. Okay, let's start from this first one. Yeah, that's, that's about right. 17031245. Okay. So I'm going to type that here. 17031245. Four, five. Yay, the first number. I just have to do that 29 more times. Wait, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right, next one. Let's see. That's about center. Yep. 17021210. So I'll go right here in the second one. Okay. One. Whoop. I think I clicked it away. That's not good. What was it again? 17021210. One, two, one, zero pixels, All right? Then, by calculating delta x, delta y, standard deviation delta x, and standard deviation delta y, we can find out everything about each grip on both weapons. So what do we have here exactly? I went ahead and made one sheet where I compared all the data we just collected for all five grips on M4 and M7. Just for fun, I also included AKM and Groza recoil in the same comparison sheet. I mean, why not, right? I was just curious. The first column here is horizontal drift per bullet, which means after each bullet in a full spray, does the gun tend to drift left, drift right, or go straight up with no drift? If the number is negative, it means after the spray, the gun will tend to drift left. And if the number is positive, that means the gun will tend to drift right. In this case, the smallest number closest to zero is the least drifting grip. I have highlighted the least drifting M4 grip blue and the least drifting M7 grip yellow. For the rest of this comparison sheet, the best M4 grip for each column will be highlighted blue and the best M762 grip for each column will be highlighted yellow. Anyways, 
this first column isn't really that important because if you really look at the drift patterns across both weapons, at most, a gun will drift 2.55 pixels per bullet. That's like nothing, and if you look at this histogram of drift on the M4 with an angle grip, you can see that it's pretty much uniform, so there's basically no drift. Okay, so you can basically ignore this number. Next up is the vertical recoil per bullet. So that means after each shot, how many pixels does the gun jump up on average? As you can see, using the vertical grip on both the M4 and M7 makes the gun easier to pull down and control. So, if you're a new player who struggles to pull a gun down, then using the vertical grip makes it easier for you, but it does not give you the best stability. In fact, the next column is horizontal recoil per bullet. So that means, when you spray, which gun is the most stable? This is perhaps the column you are looking for. As you can see, on both the M416 and M762, the angled grip provides the by far the best stability. So if you know how to drag your finger down on the screen, then angled grip is the best grip of PUBG Mobile in terms of weapon stability on fully automatic spray weapons. Next up is the vertical recoil RNG per bullet. Just like the horizontal drift column, just ignore this one. It's pretty much worthless, but for those of you who are curious, it measures how RNG the vertical jumps are for each bullet. The larger the number, the less consistent. Next column is the first shot vertical recoil. So if you single tap with assault rifles, this is the one to pay attention to. And as you can see, the AKM has a nasty 50 pixels jump after the first bullet, making it one of the most inaccurate weapons to single tap with. Interestingly, the M762 with a thumb grip is insanely good at single tapping, only jumping up by 30 pixels after the first shot. In comparison, the best single tapping grip on the M416 is the light grip, which only managed to bring its first shot recoil down to 32 pixels. Now, there is a huge disclaimer I want to share with everyone with this column's data. Keep in mind that because I only sprayed once per grip, that means that while all my other data are an average of 30 bullets, this first shot vertical recoil column is purely based on just one data set. In other words, take this column with a grain of salt. It's not statistically significant. So you might be wondering to yourself right now, hey Catfish, aren't we just done here? What's with all these additional columns to the right? Well, you see, everything we did up to this point was measuring recoil per bullet. That means guns that fire faster should have a higher recoil because they are shooting more bullets per second. Therefore, in order to make things fair for all guns and thus normalize the data, we will multiply all our previous recoil data by the gun's rate of fire in terms of bullets per second. And so now we can see what is the true recoil per second of all grips on both the M4 and M7. As you can see, because the M4 and M7 actually fire roughly the same speed, the data doesn't change drastically. And the best grip overall in terms of stability is still the angled foregrip for both weapons. Well, that's all I had in this video. Please let me know down in the comments if any part of this video confuses you. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And if you hated it, let me know why so I can fix the problems in my next video. With all that said, my name is Catfish, your PUBG scientist you can trust, and I'll see you guys next time.